Selamat datang di kabarinews.com. Saya John Ui dari San Francisco dan hari ini kami ada Claire. Uh, Claire Fasnach, ya? Yeah? Is that uh, correct, uh, Claire? Yeah. Okay. Can you give some background where you come from and uh, how you become a Balinese gamelan player? Please. Sure. I'll, I'll try and speak a little Indonesian, but I mostly speak more comfortably in English. Um, my name is Claire Fasnak. I uh, am the director of Chicago Balinese Gamelan. We're a nonprofit performing community gamelan ensemble and dance ensemble here in Chicago, Illinois. We uh, regularly perform throughout the year in Chicago and a little bit throughout the Midwest. And we have 18 musicians, 10 dancers, and our musicians and dancers are a mixture of Indonesians, Indonesian Americans, and Americans. Excellent. What inspired you to go with uh, Balinese Gamelan? I began learning Gamelan at Lawrence University, my college in Wisconsin, and I absolutely fell in love with the music. I I am a percussionist, I'm a classically trained musician, and nothing felt more comfortable with me than learning gamelan music, actually. And when I finished school, I wanted to continue my studies, so I continued studying with teachers in Bali, Indonesia, and I went on to do the Dharma Siswa Scholarship in 2014 to 2015. And uh, from there, I learned enough that I could bring some of that knowledge back and start Chicago Balinese Gamelan. So tell me, how did you start the uh, organization? We have the privilege of working with uh, Pak Asnawa, Kutuk uh, Gede Asnawa here in Illinois. He's the Gamelan professor at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. He and I had played music together before, and he introduced me to Nyoman Mahartayoso, who lives um, in the Chicago area. Nyoman uh, connected me with a set of gamelan instruments um, in the Chicago area. And with Pakasnawa and Pak Nyoman, we decided to reinvigorate a community of musicians and dancers here in Chicago. And um, we started in 2017 to do rehearsals in traditional gamelan music. We rehearse uh, twice a week with the musicians and once a week with the dancers. And um, all of the ensemble members are extremely devoted and committed. It's really an amazing group of people. Um, we have musicians and dancers from all sorts of backgrounds. Some who have played music or uh, have played gamelan music or have danced before, and some who come and have never played or danced before and they want to learn. So we have a variety of experiences, experience levels. And how many performances do you do a year? Typically, we do about eight performances a year. A lot of those performances are free and open to the public. It's one of our values at Chicago Balinese Gamelan to make Balinese music and dance accessible to a wide you know, audience of people here in Chicago. And we also record videos and share those online. That way audiences throughout Chicago, throughout America, throughout the world um, can see us. And, and we get a lot of uh, support from the Indonesian community in Indonesia who watch these videos and are really excited that this is happening in Chicago. And what, what is your biggest challenge? <laughs> right now, my biggest challenge is that uh, we're, we're just resuming rehearsals after coronavirus, after quarantining, and so we can't perform this summer. So uh, that's a little, it's a different experience to play in smaller groups. We wear face masks, we keep a distance from one another, and gamelan culture is very uh, close together. Uh, usually, you know, we're, we're in close proximity with one another. Um, we're hugging, we're laughing together. And now we just need to be a little bit more careful because of coronavirus. So how do you see gamelan in the future? Gamelan will always be part of my life. I, I, I knew when I started learning gamelan in college that it would be with me forever. 
And it's actually how I met my partner, Alex Yaffe, who directs the Javanese community gamelan in Chicago. Um, it's how I've met so many of my friends. And I envision for our ensemble, Chicago Balinese gamelan, I envision that someday we'll tour to Bali and, and be able to perform in Bali and have our members have that experience of learning and performing music in Bali. And I hope that we just get more, uh, more audience in Chicago excited about hearing, learning, and experiencing Balinese gamelan and dance. So let's say someone wants to join your organization as a performer. Uh, how would they do it? Uh, if someone wants to join our organization, you can visit our website and contact us. Our website is called chicagobalanesegamelan.org. And we also have a Facebook page. So if, if anyone messaged me through Facebook or messaged our organization via uh, an email through our website, um, we would tell them what our rehearsal schedule is and what the requirement is. Um, and anyone is welcome to join. So someone who does not understand or know gamelan, you'll be able to train that person, correct? I mean, that's the beautiful part about gamelan music is that, and dance too, is that there's, there's something for every level and we are open to, to members joining who have never played any music before at all because there's instruments of every experience level, of every challenge and difficulty level. And um, we have a really great group of musicians who help each other learn I'm usually facilitating the rehearsal or, or Pakasnawa is usually facilitating rehearsal and we will work with musicians who have never learned before or our dancers will work with dancers who have never danced before and um, get them to a level that they can be excited to create something beautiful. And how do you fund yourself? Uh, we're funded by dues from our members. Members pay dues to participate in the, in the rehearsals and in performances. We also have fundraisers throughout the year, including a summer fundraiser, which we have right now. And you can see our summer fundraiser and contribute on our Facebook page, Chicago Balinese Gamelan. And um, we usually performance fees. So that's why right now we're in this challenge without performing. We're not getting any performance fees from performing at festivals and venues throughout Chicago. So it's, it's more important than ever for people to support uh, arts organizations and live music organizations if they can. Okay, lastly, what would be your message to Kabari's readers? Terima <laughs> kasih uh, Kabari readers for uh, inviting me to tell my story and talk about this organization. Um, like I said before, this group has just an incredible group of people that are committed to learning this music. And it's not just Indonesians, it's Americans too, um, that just find it beautiful and want to, and it leads them to learn about Balinese culture and Indonesian culture. Okay, thank you, Claire, for sharing your experience in Gamelan and for Kabari readers, thank you. And see you soon. Terima kasih.